So what do we have here in these two boxes? In one box are our good old PAL Palo 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 lithium iron phosphate batteries here, our test setup. And in this one, it is a first off here in the off-grid garage. I have never ever used one of these devices before. Very common usage across the world. Most people will have this at home. It's the, this is my first time ever. Yes, guys, a while back I told you I will buy a DALI BMS 4S, so we can do some testing with 4S battery packs here. And I bought one, this is the lithium iron phosphate version 4S 12 volt with 100 amps discharge current. Charge current is 50 amps only. Oh, I didn't know that. Anyway, this is the fanless, fanless version. Comes with a balance leads. Well, guys, uh, guys, at the beginning, I thought they have forgotten the balance leads, but this is only a 4S, 4S BMS. So the balance leads, they are a little tiny plug here only with cables. They have not forgotten it. It is that small. Oh God! And it also comes with a USB UART converter. Converter USB UART plugs into the BMS somewhere. And a, hang on, what is that? The manual for it with QR codes to download the Bluetooth app and the wiring instructions here all in plain English. And also of course the mandatory Chinese rubber band inside the box. I've got a bag full of these rubber bands now. The BMS belongs to accessories with high precision. If do-it-yourself users who weld the BMS B minus B plus line, Delhi will not accept return. What? Do not welding wires when BMS connected. What does that mean? Do not connect BMS when you weld wires. I'm not going to weld anything. Okay, I think we have now kind of successfully connected our battery here to our balance leads and we have connected the BMS as well. For people who are new to all this, I link two videos down below, if I don't forget, about how to connect a BMS. Um, we did this in all very small details and step by step for our big battery here. And I made two videos about how to connect the BMS correctly. I just go through it here very quickly now. You've got your balance lead with one black wire and a lot of red wires. The black one starts at your most negative point of your battery, which is this one here. The first red wire goes to the first positive of your battery. I just realized number one should actually be over here, number two, number three, number four. I've got them in the wrong order here. This is not good then. Uh, okay, let me fix that. Well, this didn't take long, did it? So now we've got everything in the right order. Cell number one, two, three, four. Your first red one, positive number one. Second red one, positive number two. Third red one, positive number three. Fourth red one positive number four. It's that simple. And the black one is your most negative, the same as the negative marked with a B minus goes into your BMS. And now your load and your charger connect to this one, negative and positive here. Okay, uh, so before you connect your balance leads to your BMS, you should measure it again to make 100% sure this is all correctly connected to the batteries in the right order. So what you're going to measure now is you measure from your most negative to the first positive, second positive, third and fourth. And every time you do this, the voltage will increase by around 3.2 or 3.3 volts. So 3.3 here, 
6.6, 9.9, and then, um, yeah, 13 point something. And you do this here directly on the, on the cable connector. So we put our plaque probe on the plaque cable and connect the first terminal here. And this is our first battery cell number one, 3.28. Okay, we move the red one to the second one, 6.5, third one, 9.9 .9, and fourth one 13.5 perfect and now we can connect safely our balance leads to the BMS nothing happens there's no light there's nothing and if something is going wrong you want to disconnect everything and check this whole sheet again ah, I think I have to plug in this one first here ah, it says it actually here DL7662020 that's the same number as here on the display cool I'll try again. I'll press the button here. Do I have to hold it or do I have to press it only once? Okay, we press it once. Release. Let's see. I hold this button all the time now and click on pairing on the phone. I hold it down. I'm holding it, holding it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Be friends here. No, didn't work. Okay, um, let's try from the app directly. So you go to your App Store, Google Play or Apple, whatever it's called, and you look for the Smart BMS Deli BMS. This is the, apparently the app you need. So I have downloaded this already. Ah, oh, there it is. It, sh it shows up here in the app. Okay, we click on that. Connecting. Channel. Oh! <laughs> you don't need to press the button. You just go in the app and connect. <laughs> it is that easy. Okay, we are connected now. 50% state of charge, it tells us. Um, here. Here we go. Okay, now you can see how it looks like. So, this is the app. So, we can see in maximum voltage here on the left. Minimum voltage, average voltage difference, our deviation. Cycle zero and kilowatts. This is, I think, for load. Temperature, number of temperature sensors, one, minus 40 degrees. Okay, there is no temperature sensor here. Hmm. And then we've got our battery string down here. Cell number one, two, three, and four. And number three is very high, actually. Software version, it shows, and the battery serial number. Okay. Parameter settings. Let's go in there. Parameter settings. Oh, nice. Cell voltage high protection. See, it has 3.75. We want this to 3.65. Set. Uh, please enter the password. What the f... Where's the... Ah, here, password. One, two, three... Oh, shit, you know my password now. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. And um, set. Set. Do I need to click? Ah, it has set it already. Yeah, okay. Cell voltage low protection. 2.2. That's far too low. 2.5. Set. Set. Come on. Ah, set. Okay, it takes a moment. <laughs> There it is, there it is. I like this. This is very easy. Okay, cell characteristics. Type of battery. Uh, lithium, okay, this is already LFP. Yeah, that's fine. Rated capacity. The whole capacity of the battery is 5.4 ampere hours. Balanced open start voltage. Does this mean when the balancer is open, so not connected? Balanced open. Usually I would start at 3.5 and this is our deviation we can set here 50 millivolt now we got down to 5 millivolt ah oh, this is in volts hang on um right this is 5 millivolt wait for it does it does it does it go that low some bmss don't go that low see the qcc i have goes down to 1 millivolt yeah, it doesn't like that here. It doesn't doesn't like that. Okay, let's try the uh, 10 millivolt then. See if that works. Set. Come on, come on, take this one. Well, then we leave it like this for the moment. Collect board numbers. Machine one, collect 
cell one. I don't know what that means. We leave it as it is. Temperature control is turned off, should be turned off because we've got lithium batteries anyway. And there's no temperature sensor in the package actually. I need to ask the seller why there's no temperature sensor. The sequence and then after the wiring as well uh, correctly on the and the accessories such as temperature control, standard, power board, Bluetooth um, communication, then insert the wiring into the yeah we've done this. So I don't know. That doesn't work. Parameter settings. Oh, charge switch is on, discharge switch is on, system reset, factory, zero drift current calibration, whatever that all means. Let me go back in here. We've got a voltage difference of 47, uh, 70, 76 millivolt now. And there's no balancing because we have set the... Okay, go back in the parameters. Okay, let's set this one here to 3.1 volts, right? So very low balance start voltage 3.1 and we go back to the display and see if the balance actually turns on change any of these switches no i can't can i click on anything else here no i can't how does it work work here why is it not balancing we have set balancing to 3.1 volts and we are clearly uh, above 3.1 volts so it should start balancing actually shouldn't it I'm not doing something wrong here. Okay, let's let's connect the charger. Hang on, let's connect the charger here. Okay, I've set the charger to 14.3 volts. Positive to the main, positive of the battery, without the negative touching anything else, yeah? And the negative doesn't go to the battery, it goes to the BMS, right? Okay, so this is all connected now. Um, there is some, um, well, there's no current flowing. Okay, why is it not, why is it not charging here now? Hello? Why is it not charging? 50%. There should be current going into the battery now. Parameters. Uh, 3.2 reference voltage. Sleep. Sleep waiting time. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, balance open start. 3.1. Um, board collection. I don't know. Why is it not working? This is my first time daily. And I'm failing. I'm totally failing. I don't know why it is not working. Is this a restart? Okay, let's do that. Should we restart? Ah, restart. Yep, let's do a restart. Okay, nothing happens. Oh, we've got two amps flowing. Two amps. But only for a moment, until, only until it comes back. Then it turns off again for some reason. If the BMS is not conductive, please contact Delhi customer service instead of welding. Instead of welding? I'm not going to weld it. I don't know what they mean with welding. Okay, Google, why is my brand new f***ing Dally BMS not turning on? Here are the top search results. Why is my brand new f***ing Dally BMS not turning on? <laughs> nice, nice Google. The do-it-yourself solar forum. I haven't got time to read this. BMS won't turn on. How to turn on Dally BMS without light board. Uh, problem with Dally BMS. Well, at least I'm not alone. Is there not a 38 second YouTube video I can watch? <laughs> Is that normal with Dali, Dali BMSs? I don't like it at all. <sighs> I think I go back inside and have another glass of wine. This is just too frustrating here. Turn off the charger, turn everything off and um, this is shit. The good old QUCC BMS just worked. <laughs> Guys, I now I, I think what it is. I had a dream last night. Remember when we had the app open, it showed us the temperature of the system, like minus 40 degrees. What is the BMS doing at minus 40 degrees with the battery? Exactly, it stops everything. Charging, discharging, everything is turned off. And this might be why the BMS is not doing anything here. See, and this is another weird thing. It doesn't show the device until I press the button here. Look at this. Okay. Click. And then it shows up. Look at this. Minus 40 degrees. There it says it. Minus 40 degrees. Look at this. T1. So where is the... Ah, here. Here it is. Board 1 temperature number 1. Okay, if you set this one to zero, 
so it's not it's not it's turned off basically and we go back to the Ooh, it is on <laughs> guys it is on it is on look at this it was the temperature it still shows the temperature though here but it's turned on it is green <laughs> i got it yeah so next step would be turn on the power supply 14.3 is fine we've got our minus still connected here in the condom and positive goes to positive here and let's it is charging this usually is not happening with the display this is just on the camera it is charging 2.1 amps cell voltage high protect 3.6 uh, volts the first cell reaching 3.6 cut, cut off turn off everything all good so I can potentially leave this running now and the BMS should turn off at 3.6 volts, right? Yeah, and above 3.5, it should actually start balancing with 20 millivolt deviation. Ah, so now we can see that probably cell number three has triggered the high voltage disconnect. And up here it says the charging MOS is off. Discharging is still on, but charging is off. And the power supply shows zero. It usually doesn't flicker. This is the big difference to the QUCC BMS with a relay, right? Once this one turns off, there's no charging or discharging anymore. It is off. It disconnects the battery regardless what. While these ones here with the MOSFETs integrated, they differentiate and they just turn off the charging now, but leave the discharging on, which makes totally sense. So I have just triggered the uh, high voltage disconnect again, 3.646, it shows in cell number three, but the balancer doesn't kick in for some reason. Um, we have a voltage difference of 0 0.3 volts, but the balancer is still off, 3.65. See, I set this one to 3.3 volts now, but it's still not coming on. See, it says here, cell voltage high level. Cell voltage high level as a status. That is fine because we have reached the 3.65 volt with cell number three. So this is all good. But um, and it has turned off the charger, which is good. So this all works. But why is it not balancing? Why is the balance function not there? It should discharge cell number three now, right? I mean, not that I'm overly concerned about the balancing function of these boards because they've got only 30 milliamps here, which is ridiculous. You need to charge to a really high voltage to make 30 milliamp work for you. So probably you have to combine this one with an active balancer anyway, but it still should work, right? It should just work. So why is it not doing it? And I cannot click on any of the batteries here either. It doesn't give you any more information like in the QUCC, in the Xiao Xiang Xing BMS of the QCC, where I can see statistics for each individual cell. This doesn't give you the information here. Is this the right app actually? But I cannot I cannot um I cannot get it to balance here. It should discharge cell number three now. Okay, so number three, I'll do a quick discharge here and we see what the app does. Voltage comes down, charger kicks in again. Okay, we are charging again. So both switches are on. 3.5, you can see the voltage is rising. 3.62. 3. 3.7! What the heck? Oh, that is going over a lot did you see that cell number three was 3.7 volts come on send it send it there we go okay dashboard okay discharge number three again yeah charger kicks in again so 3.6 should turn off the charging process again there you go, turned off, bang. So that's all working. That's the high voltage disconnect. But um, the balancer, the balancer is still not on. 
Well, if you have a high voltage disconnect because one cell is peaking, you should discharge this one cell, right? So you should leave the balancer actually on. This is what the QUCC BMS does. It balances regardless if you are high or low or something. As soon as you hit the voltage, you start balancing, discharging, pleading the energy of these particular cells. I had to text my good old friend Paul in Victoria, you know, the guy with the aluminium bus bars, because he's using these DALI BMSs for his pre-built batteries he is selling. And I sent him a screenshot and said, well, how is the balancing working with these BMSs? Hey, Paul, it's me, Andy here. Hey, I've got a question about DALI. I heard you are the DALI expert of the world. I've got a 4S BMS here. Balance is turned off at the moment. Balance start is at 3.45. Cell number 3 will hit this right now. Balancer turns on. Come on. There it goes. But then if the voltage rises further, it turns off again. And I cannot figure out why. Just wait for it. See, cell number 3 is running away now. And when it goes to a 3.57 or so, a little bit higher, there, turns off, balance turns off again. I don't know why. Here are the parameters I've set. And he explained to me that balancing is only happening while you are charging. As soon, as soon as the current it measures, goes under zero, or goes to zero, so under two amps, balancing will stop. So I have the battery sitting now here on 13.45 volt, 54 millivolt deviation in the pack, and the balancer is off. It, it will not balance this pack at all, nothing. It won't balance it. I'm still charging here with 200 milliamps, but the BMS shows only currents above 2 amps, so no current shown here, no balancing. Just wait for it. 3.45 is our threshold. Still charging with 1.8 amps. There we go. Balance has turned on. Cell number 3 has triggered it. Cell number 4 as well now. And now you can see the current is going down 1.4. As soon as this one goes to zero, you will see the balancer turns off. I think it's 1.1 amps or something. There it goes. Zero, balancer turns off. Even we are still charging with 600 milliamps, balancer turns off. And remember, this is only a 30 milliamp balance current. These DALI BMSs, <laughs> this is ridiculous. I mean, what are you doing with this shit? I really cannot understand why so many people are buying these DALI BMSs. The app is totally... I mean, the parameters are so minimalistic. That is unreal. Probably good for beginners or something, you know? There's not much you can... I've got like 56 different parameters in the QUCC BMS, which I can set individually. And balancing is always working when I turn it on. One of the cells goes in over voltage and turns off the balancer because it peaks, you know, over 3.65 volt, for example. The balancer will not turn on and discharge this high voltage cell then. We've got now 181 millivolt deviation across these cells. Balancing is off because there's no current. This does not make sense at all to balance a battery pack while charging because you are charging with a far higher current than you are discharging. So discharging makes no difference at all. I cannot understand why these BMSs are so popular. So we have now reached the 13.81 volts. I have set here on the bench to power supply and we are still charging with 16 milliamps. It does not recognize we are still charging. It is on zero. So is the balancer. So we will always sit on these 205 millivolt deviation. Look at this. 205 millivolt deviation we have, it will never go off this deviation. Never ever. I cannot balance this battery pack with the Delhi BMS. It's not possible. I'm going into uh, parameter view. 59 parameters I can set in here. 59 individual parameters. And here we have like 
One, two, three, four, five. It's like 15 parameters you can set in the DALI BMS, but that's it. Balance turn on voltage. So I want to set this one here to 3.3. And I go back. Look at this. Balancing kicks in, balances all my cells, all of them. It doesn't matter if I charge or discharge or nothing at all. The battery is not connected at all. It's always balancing when I tell it to do so. And this makes sense. If you have a high voltage cell, you want it to balance to come down with the voltage. You need the balancer to drop the voltage. Yeah, I'm not happy with that. That is ridiculous. As good as the MOSFET situation is here, um, when you are in an over voltage situation, it turns off charging and then you still can discharge. This is something the QUCC BMS does not do because of the relay. Okay. I, Really, I thought the QUCC BMS is really, really bad. This is like like the super low quality. But looking at this DALI BMS now with this app and this ridiculous balancing rule they put in for whatever reason, the QUCC BMS is actually pretty good. Yeah, I guess this was my first experience with the DALI BMS here in the off-grid garage. And... It looks like this was probably my last experience with the Delhi BMS here in the off-grid garage. Not just because of the balancing, you know, but this is just not what I was expecting. I was expecting a really, really good app, a good software, a good BMS. But this is more like a protection board now. This protects your battery single cell over under voltages or whole pack over under voltages. Actually, I got in contact with the manufacturer here or with the seller and they apologized a hundred times to not have included the NTC uh, probe, the um, temperature sensor. They have totally forgotten it. So it is on the way. They put it in an envelope. It is on the way here. Could take another week or two or something. Not too fast about it because I don't want to put this one into a box anyway with other stuff. I um, Yeah, this is just for testing purposes here. I just wanted to always wanted to buy one, wanted to have a look at the Delhi BMS because so many people are buying them. And now I don't know why. <laughs> well, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your support here on the channel, all your donations. Well, I'm very glad it gets warmer outside now and the beer season starts very soon. I guess I will see you in one of the next videos. Until then, stay charged, stay safe. And thank you again for watching. See you then. Bye-bye.